What's going on, guys? So, update video. Um, crazy update video. So, I am well into working on the GS300. I have begun to basically strip out everything um, to kind of get everything moving along. Heads off of it, I had the head uh, decked clean. I got everything, uh, valve springs, retainers, all that done, and that's in the trunk of the Kia. Um, but yeah, everything's trugging along. These aren't going back in it. I'm putting a set of racing seats in it, which we'll see how those are. Um, but yeah, no, everything is kind of, I pulled everything off, got everything kind of laid out. It's a mess in here, but that's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I have all my parts, everything ready, kind of good to go. But, um, so long story short is I got to, I guess today I'm going to be working on pulling the, um, the clutch pedal and kind of redoing that assembly because it's kind of shitty. So the way the guy did it, he ran a line from the clutch pedal itself. So the clutch pedal up there, he ran a line and just drilled it into there. So this is a CD009 transmission. So it's a 350Z trans or whatever trans from that year. Um, and this is all loose too. I got to fix this. It's, it's all loose on the bracket. But um, so the clutch isn't like in a good spot. It's in like actually a really shitty spot. And he has it mounted to the, just like to the wall here. Is it like with fucking um, sheet metal screws? So it's like the whole thing is like loose, the assembly. It works. Like if you push it in, it works fine. But that's not how I want to leave it. So I'm going to clean up all this, get all this wiring and shit out of the way for the fucking radio all the shoddy wiring, and I gotta figure out what to do with this. I gotta figure out where to put it. Um, that's that, and then after that's done, I'm gonna do that today and make a bracket for the clutch pedal. I'm gonna come back here and pull the fuel pump out of the tank. I don't remember exactly where you, I don't know if you access it from back here or if you access it from within the trunk, but it looks like he has a relay already on it running for the pump so i'm interested to see how that's all ran i gotta check all that stuff but it looks like there's a relay on it already which is good it has its own power source um and yeah i pulled the head off so i gotta clean the surface the surface is not clean the the cross hatchings and everything on the cylinders look pretty good i'm just gonna run through it all and clean it up it's got a little rust in there because it's been sitting for like two or three days um, clean all that up, clean the, clean the head surface up with some scotch Bright and some WD-40 and then just, you know, kind of go through everything. Just give everything a good once over before I start to put everything back together. So, uh, that's the goal and that's the plan. Um, yeah. And once it's running, I guess I'll make another video with that because I'm really bad at doing YouTube. So, if you guys want to see anything in particular, just tell me. I will, um, I'll work on it. I'll get it done and, you know. That's pretty much it. All right. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Bye.